You're watching ABC4 Utah, Real Sports Live. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. We're joined now on the show by a really cool trophy. And that trophy is being held by a really cool guy. This is Bruno Cagnaro from Riverton, 17-year-old race car driver. Yes. Who is, and let me get this straight, you are the reigning FIA Chinese F4 champion. That is correct. Hence the trophy. Yes, yeah, hence the FIA trophy. You've been yeah. racing over in China and just killing it, right? No, it's been a really good year, and uh, I've been fortunate for all the great results that we've, we've been able to obtain. And uh, yeah, it was for sure one of the most uh, impactful and one of the most special seasons of my career, for sure. How many tracks do they have over there? Because I'm guessing you pretty much won on all of them. Um, you know, they have new ones that are coming up now. Um, and, you know, China and Asia is a really growing market in motorsports. So there's new tracks that are coming up, you know, or designs that are coming up every month. And um, I raced on four different tracks. I believe there's six in China, five or six tr in tracks now. But obviously it's growing. So um, we got to go on four different tracks that are vastly different. Every track that, that I went to was very different. Um, but it was, it was great to, to be able to experience the new and different kind of culture uh, off the track and also on the track. How tough, a, how tough was it to go over there in the first place, and how tough was it to race and get used to different, uh, get different tracks? Uh, it, w it was a little tough. You know, um, the flight was probably the, the hardest part because <laughs> it it, you know, there's one track in the south of China that we went to twice um, in Zhuhai, and the total trip is about 26 hours. Oh, hello. Total. So, <laughs> so you get tired, and uh, it's a little... It impacts a little bit in the weekend, so we started going a little bit earlier in the week um, to kind of sit down and uh, relax and get used to the time zone and everything like that. So um, that, that helped a little bit. But uh, on track, it, it was a little tricky because obviously the drivers there had more experience and uh, were able to get used to, to the car and the, and the different circuits better than I was. Um, but you know, after a couple sessions, the car was set up really nicely by my engineers, Ian Lacey and Kent Stacy, and we were we were able to progress really well, so it was the, good. I, I think we may have talked about this before when you've been on the show. I just, I just envision you when you go back to school. Yeah. What'd you do for your summer? Oh, I was on racing in China. I won a championship in Asia. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. That's all. I was lucky. Wondering. No, I was lucky and I was fortunate. It was, it was probably the two correct words for that. And uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really nice to be able to, to say that I was given such an opportunity um, after so many, so, so much you know, hard work yeah. that's been put into it and everybody that's been involved in my career and making it possible, is, it's, it's starting to pay off now. Well, I'm, I'm guessing you may be lucky and fortunate, but yeah. you're also pretty good because no one gets to that stage and no one wins unless you're, you know, got some serious talent. Uh, ah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. But, yeah, you know. I'm okay. I have this big trophy. I'm just the... No, I, I, yeah, I'm just thankful for everybody that made this year possible, really, so. Why were you successful? What, what do you attribute it to? Um, you know, just lo lots of, uh, I think I, I get, I'm really suited into cars and I'm able to work with the car really well, especially because in race cars, everything happens a little bit slower in the sense that you have the, the shocks and the springs, so you get to feel the car a little bit better and I'm getting a lot better with my feedback. Um, so that's one, one aspect. Also, I had a uh, great team. Um, Ian Lacey and Kent Stacy were those engineers and they really set the car up really nicely. Every weekend, um, every session we went out, we were improving five tenths every every session, so it was, it was a combination. It was teamwork really between me and the team, and uh, I think that's ultimately we, what, what drove us to to the success. So, it was really so you win there, and then you get to go across the world to Vienna, Austria, yes, for a big gala. Talk about that because you got to meet a whole bunch of yeah. awesome drivers. It was it was uh, incredible to say the least. And uh, FIA, who sanctions the Formula Four series, they they did a fantastic job with. Um, you know, organizing the event is just wonderful from the food and uh, I mean, I had braised veal, it was amazing, you know. Um, and also, you know, um, watching the people on stage, the performances and like you said, meeting these people, it was, it was a room full of all these greats and being able to meet Lewis awesome. Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, the world champion, so it was fantastic. And you're with, real quickly, what's next for you? Uh, what, what's next? Um, you know, nothing's, it's not 100% official, we're getting there and we're working the kinks out, but um, you know, right now we're just, working the kinks out as far as sponsorship and partnership and uh, you know it's going to be an international level series that we're going to be racing in next year and uh, hopefully if we can get some Utah Utah um, businesses on board it would nice. be amazing so you know if, you, if there's anybody interested <laughs> out there there's my website website, website. Yep. motorsports.com so All right.
Please get in contact. Congratulations. Thank you so Happy much. Happy holidays. We want to see you it. back here with more hardware. I'd hope so. Get some more trophies. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right. Thanks.